Now we look at how markets opened in Asia after Wall Street stocks took a hit from hotter than expected US inflation. Despite the uncertainty surrounding the Fed's rate path, Asian stocks advanced. In early trade, Chinese equities declined, lagging their Asian counterparts. This comes as investors become more cautious ahead of a crucial weekend briefing likely to provide further details on Beijing stimulus programs. The CSI 300 index slid as much as 1.6%, reversing Thursday's gains. In the previous session, Chinese stocks were supported by the central bank's decision to launch a tool to support the capital market. The People's Bank of China, PBOC, launched a 500 billion yuan, that's about $71 billion, securities fund and insurance companies swap facility. This is the first monetary policy tool launched by the PBOC. Then in other parts of Asia, Japanese and South Korean stocks opened higher while those in Australia slipped. U.S. equity futures also edged higher after the S&P 500 and the Nasdaq 100 fell overnight. A gauge of U.S.-listed Chinese companies advanced on Thursday, echoing gains in China in the prior session. And this comes as investors shifted their focus to a key meeting on fiscal policy. This weekend, Hong Kong markets are closed for a holiday on Friday. Data released on Thursday underscores the challenge facing the Fed. Underlying U.S. inflation rose more than forecast in September in a sign of stalling progress in the fight to bring prices to target. Separate data showed applications for U.S. unemployment benefits rose last week to the highest in over a year. Swaps market pricing indicates the bets for a potential Fed rate cut next month remain unchanged. Investors are also gearing up for September quarter U.S. Earnings later on Friday, J.P. Morgan Chase, Wells Fargo and Bank of New York Mellon are scheduled to report their earnings. Oil edged lower, trimming some of its gains from Thursday when U.S. crude climbed 3.6% as traders awaited Israel's response to Iran's missile attack.